Hey, I'm Ben, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to take you through an overview of the Fixie console, uh, also known as the dashboard. So I've already signed in here with, uh, with my Google or GitHub account, and this is what you see when you don't have any content yet created. So let's just take a look here uh, at a few things. Right here is where I have the ability to see any teams uh, that I belong to. I can also create a new team. Teams are helpful to organize your agents and your cor corpora for people with whom you work closely. And you can see here I'm a member of multiple teams. Uh, the, uh, we, we've landed here on the main dashboard page. So again, this is where we can kind of see an overview. This is a new team I created for this demo, so I don't have anything in here yet. But I can also click through and look at just corpora, and, uh, and corpora is the plural word of corpus, uh, which essentially refers to a, uh, a grouping of content or data that we've imported into Fixie so that we can uh, do queries against it, uh, also known as RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. So what we do is we can, we can create these uh, corpora and, and use them with our agents. I'm gonna show more of that in a minute. Uh, we also have the agents view, and then we have settings. Uh, also over here, I can go into my profile, uh, which is where I can get my API token uh, for use with the, the Fixie API. But why don't we just start here and let's create a new corpus. So a common use case for Fixie is to create agents that have knowledge about specific data. So in this case, I'm gonna create one for the Fixie website. I'm actually gonna show you how we've created this embeddable agent down here. Um, so you, you, you may have noticed this, you can click on it. I can actually interact with it and I can say, tell me about the Corpus API. And this agent is built using a large language model, in this case, GPT-4 Turbo, but it's also using this corpus of knowledge that we've given it. And, in, and it has access to all the information contained on the Fixie website, the Fixie blog, uh, as well as our product documentation. Uh, I don't know why that took so long to respond. Uh, maybe we're spinning up a machine there, but you can see we get back a, an answer. Um, it knows about uh, the Fixie Corpus API and I can do these follow-on queries. So let's just take a look at how we can make this uh, type of, uh, of you know, RAG agent for anything that we want. So uh, let's uh, click on here to hide. Uh, I've got a new corpus, so I'm just gonna call this Fixie. Actually, let's call it Fixie website. And we'll give it a description, all the info on the website, blog and product docs. And then we'll just click create. So um, this is just creating this sort of container for our corpus. And you can see here we, we have um, the corpus and we have no sources. So this is telling us right here at a high level, we have a corpus ID. I can click here to copy that. And uh, you know that's really useful sometimes when I'm debugging, when I'm using the uh, API. Um, but we can also see there's no documents, chunks, or vectors. Now, um, let's go ahead and add some sources here. So let's uh, say Fixie website. Uh, I don't, I'm not gonna add a description. I feel like that's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Now, you, the next thing you can see here is we're prompted. We can either do a web crawl or we can upload files. So in this case, I wanna crawl and, and I'm actually gonna set the crawl depth to two. And what this means is We'll start at this um, starting URL. So let's put HTTPS colon slash slash fixie.ai. And I'll add that as a source. And crawl depth of two means it's gonna go to Fixie, it's gonna look at any links, and it's gonna go into those. So that's two levels deep. So the first level is fixie.ai, and then it goes a level deep. We can specify up to depth level of six, that can make the corpus size get really, really big um, if your, your web page has a lot of links to other sources because it'll follow those links and then it'll follow links on those links and uh, it's uh, links all the way down. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and say add here. And you can see here that this is giving us a state of processing. Uh, it's giving us a source ID and it's telling us what this is. So while this is processing, let's go ahead and add another source 
And let's add one for the uh, Fixie blog. Now, I technically don't need to do this because uh, the Fixie blog is actually contained at fixie.ai slash blog. So that first um, source I created should find the blog. But let's say our blog was on like another domain, maybe on Medium or something like that. Um, so again, I'm just gonna say crawl depth of two, uh, HPS, fixie.ai slash blog. Again, this is just to show you how you would add another source, not, not really needed with the, the first one we did. So let's add that. And also I, I wanna point out, I could have added this URL to the first source. You can specify multiple um, URLs on a given source. It's kind of up to you if you want to do that or keep them separated by source, um, which is I, which is what I kind of like to do. I like to think of these things as sort of different units. The website's different from the blog, which is different from the docs. And so let's add that one. And then we'll add another source here and we'll call this the docs. And uh, let's set a crawl depth of three on that one. And it's fixie.ai slash docs. And again, the, the first uh, crawl should find the docs, but um, maybe these would be on a subdomain or something else here. So let's add those. And so now this is going to process. Um, the processing time can be relatively short, you know, uh, a, f a few moments or, or, or minutes, uh, or it can take many, many minutes, maybe potentially even. Uh, an up to an hour or longer, really depending on the size of the, the, the content that you're ingesting. Uh, also, let me just show one more thing. I, I'm not gonna pull a document in, but I could have chosen to upload a file. And uh, this could be any type of uh, really a text file, a doc, EPUB, you can see here, PDF, HTML. And this is handy, so you know maybe I had some um, some press releases or I had a FAQ, I had some other content. I can upload those uh, files as well and add those into the corpus. So let's cancel out of this, and uh, let's just I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here and we will we'll come back in a moment when these are done processing. Okay, so I paused the video there for uh, uh, probably about 30 seconds or so. You can see now that we've got some content um, ready. Uh, so we've got the website, we've got the blog, we've got documents, chunks, vectors. So here, let's go ahead and start doing a query test and say, um, tell me about Fixie. And I can click on the Submit Query button. And it'll start returning back chunks from our crawl that we did. And this is doing a semantic search. So these scores are semantic similarity um, for the content that we that we crawled and pulled in and, and what we just asked for. So we've got these here. Um, so we've got content, this is working. So now let's uh, go back and uh, let's create an agent. So we're gonna create an agent and we're gonna call this the Fixie, let's just call it the Fixie Helper. And you can see we've got a drop down here where we can actually choose one of the corpora that we've created. Now we just created the one uh, just now for the Fixie website. So let's choose that one. And now the system prompt is where we're, you know, the way I think of it is we're imbuing our agent with their instructions, uh, their personality, you know, how are they gonna kind of come into this, uh, this interaction? What are their rules for the road? So uh, system prompt, you are a helpful assistant and you are an expert on the company. Okay, so let's create this agent. So that's it. We now have an agent. We, we're dropped right into this configuration screen and we can start to ask questions questions. What is Fixie? Now let's look here for a second. Um, we're showing you sort of the debug um, behind the scenes information that's happening. We call this function called lookup from knowledge base and internally inside of Fixie we're, we're giving the agent this function that it can call which essentially points to that corpus that we created. So you can see here the query that got passed in what is Fixie? 
and we can see again we got these chunks back uh, this looks very similar to what we just saw uh, over in the query test screen uh, and we've got this really you know nicely formatted answer pulled in and then um, you can see here we've got some links um, that we can kind of go um, these these citations now we can also turn these citations off we can um, toggle off suggested uh, questions um, allow interject before function call this is something that uh, you may want to do uh, if you're interacting with these agents uh, over voice um, so that you can actually um, essentially it's more of a uh, hey let me check on that or give me a second while I look that up it can kind of give a better user experience so there's not just this big delay uh, while things are being looked up uh, and then we also have the ability to change the model uh, if we wanted to, to drop down to one of these other um, models, uh, we could definitely do that. We choose GPT-4 Turbo by default. Um, and then we can also change the temperature uh, and have this be you know, much more um, creative in its response or you know, more kind of uh, you know, true to life or factual. So um, that's really a, a quick example of creating the agent. So now let's take a look here at embed so now what we can do is we could grab this little um, iframe snippet we could put this into our web page and we could embed this agent uh, into the, uh, the the web page or, or another application and make this available so um, let me point out one more thing here I can come up here and uh, copy this shareable URL so here I am uh, just removing the fixy console Chrome. This is just my agent. So let's ask it a question. What is the Corpus API? So we just hit the Corpus again. It's going to bring that information back, give those chunks to the model. The model will synthesize that and uh, give us an answer. So hopefully that was a, a useful overview of how you can get started with Fixie, how you can uh, create a corpus, give that to an agent, and embed that agent in your own application or website. So look forward to seeing what you build and uh, let us know in Discord uh, how it goes or if you've got questions.